Okay, now we're going to talk about forms of the future, going to present progressive, simple present, we can all use for the future. Be going to and the present progressive are used to describe future plans. Um, be going to and the present progressive are used in the same way. There's really no difference in meaning. The simple present has kind of a different meaning. It's used to describe a scheduled future event. So I can say, I'm going to buy a new smart smartphone. You could also say, I'm buying a new smartphone. Uh, the store is offering free Wi-Fi all next week. You could also say, the store is going to offer free Wi-Fi all next week. When I say the movie comes out next week, this means it's scheduled to come out or it's expected to come out. Okay, I'll be going to and present progressive for future plans. Okay, use be going to plus the base form of the verb to express general intentions and plans for the future. Like I'm going to buy a 3D TV someday. Okay, you can use expressions like probably, most likely, and I believe with this form. My parents probably aren't going to buy one. I think they're going to save their money for a trip instead. However, both forms can be used to express the same idea. I'm watching a movie this evening. I'm going to watch a movie this evening. Same thing. We use the simple present for scheduled events in the future and for timetables. So when I say the conference begins on Monday and ends on Friday, um, that means it's scheduled, it's expected. Beginning June 10th, all trains to New England leave from platform 14. The time is in the future, but it's scheduled, and I use the present, um, simple present tense to express something that's expected as a schedule in the future. You can also use the future tense with will for scheduled events in the future and for timetables. You can say the conference will begin on Monday and end on Friday. Or beginning June 10th, all trains to New England will leave from Platform 14.